Welcome to Linux Help Tutorial. I am going to explain about how to install and set up Mega Sync Client for Cloud in Ubuntu. Mega is a cloud hosting and file hosting company. It provides the users for up uploading 50 GB of storage space for free and up to 4 TB for the paid accounts. It allows the user to backup. It allows the users to backup and share their files and folders across the web with the end-to-end -end encryption on RSA 2048-bit keys and keep the files very secure and private. Secure and private. Megasync client is a desktop client which is available for different Linux distributions. Now we can see the installation of Megasync client in Ubuntu. You can download the Megasync client from this link. This is the official link of Meha. Now open the browser. Now right click on the search bar and give paste and go. Now we need to select your Linux distribution. This is available for Ubuntu, OpenSUSC, Elementary, Red Hat 7, Fedora, CentOS, Arch Linux, etc. I am using Ubuntu 16.04. So, so I am selecting Ubuntu 16.04 and select your architecture. If you are using 32-bit, select 32-bit. I am using 64-bit. Now give free download for Linux. Now select the save file and give OK. Now the Megasync client Debian package is downloaded. Now we need to download the Notalis extension for the Mega. Now select the Notalis extension and click save file and OK. Now it is downloaded. Now minimize the browser and open the terminal. Now go to the downloads directory and list the files. Now we can see the two Debian packages available. Now install the Mahasync client. The command is dpackage i mahasync x ubuntu 16.04 Debian. If you are using the normal user, use sudo in front of the command. I am using the root user, so I am executing the command without sudo. Now give enter. Now we can see the, some dependency problem with the Mega Sync installation. So you need to run the apt-get f install to solve the dependency. Now give s to download and install the dependency packages. This will take some time. Now the dependency problem is resolved. Now we can install the Mahasync client application and execute the command again. Now we can see it is installed successfully. Next you need to install the Notalis extension. The command is dpackage i Natalis Mahasync .debian. Now give enter. Now, now the Notalis Mahasync is installed. Now to open the Mahasync application type Mega sync. Now give enter. Now the Mega sync application is opened. Now we need to create a new account to log in into the Mega application. Now select create account and enter the name and the email ID and the password. Now the password. Now tick the checkbox to agree the Mega terms of service and give next. Now the account is created. Now we need to Verify the account using the confirmation link that is sent to the email account. Now go to the browser and go to Gmail and sign in using the register account. Now we can see the activation mail. Now select the activation mail and select the activate account to activate the Mega Sync account. Now enter the password to confirm the account. Click confirm your account. Now it is generating the public private key. Now choose your account type. I am going to use the free account which has a 50 GB of storage. Now click select. Mega Sync account is successfully created. Now click the unity dash and search Mega. Now select the Mega Sync. Now we can see the Mega Sync is available in the status bar. Now click login and enter the email ID and password. And now the password. Now click next. And now select the local folder to synchronize the mega storage. Now give next. And now give finish. 
now we can see the mega sync is available in the status bar now select the mega and click show status now we can see the usage here and you have the settings here now we can see you if you want to export the key you can export and you can see the storage space available here on the language you can select your language and you can see the synchronization the local folder is location is here and you can limit the bandwidth of the upload the upload rate can be limited or if you want the automatic you can select automatic if you have a proxy server you can use this proxy settings in advance you can see the uploads location and the download location now give ok the mahasing client is successfully installed in ubuntu thank you for watching